Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking about torque sticks. So that's these bad boys. Um, so let's just put it on the board. Now I, until someone sent me a video recently saying, do these work? I've never fucking seen these. <laughs> never heard of them, never seen them. Uh, generally because it's more of a car thing, I imagine that's the reason why I've never seen them before. Um, but basically, what they are, is they're extensions, extension bars, and um, the way these, or what these are meant to do, is these are meant to, go on the end of it, oh fucking hell, is that it? That can't be it, oh, it's too much paint on the inside. So what these are meant to do is to go on the end of your impact gun and um, they basically only supply uh, the rated torque on them, that's what they're meant to do. So if you look at this one, I'll pick this one because this is the clearest one. If you see there, can you fucking pick that up? Come on, there we go. So it says 140 foot pounds and then it says 160. 190 newton meters. I'm reading it off the camera screen. Um, and we've got here uh, a skinny one and a thick one, so you can see the difference. And this one is rated to. And this is <laughs> you can see it on the white one really clear. If you look at that one, the writing is just fucking shit. You can't see anything on it. So that's a bit of a boo boo by them. Pick some, you know, the yellow one you can see really well. The grey one is crap because you, the letters are in a bit darker grey. And of course, our twat with his planes back. Motherfucker, I swear to God. You can tell them good weather's coming back because the fucking wanker just starts, you know. Anyway. <sighs> so, how do these work and why, you know, do they go up in increments? So there's 90, 110, whatever this says, 135, 160, and 190 Newton meters. So how do these things work? These things only work with um, impact guns. They do not work with a uh, breaker bar or a torque wrench. And I'll explain why. Uh, and it's quite an interesting material properties thing. So one of the first things we need to talk about is a type of stress um, that is induced when you apply torque to things. It's called torsion. So torsion is, Let's see if I've got an example. So here I have some um, radiator hose for the uh, ER5 and this is just a silicon, you know, silicon radiator tube. Now I hope you can see the lines on there, they're not the straightest lines, let's try and pick some straight lines, there we go. So torsion is when you twist something, so there, that's a good demonstration. You can see it thinning out there, we'll talk about that in a different video. But torsion is that, is the twisting of um, something. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, so basically what happens is, obviously, if you stick an extension bar on anything that you are torquing, that extension bar will twist. As soon as you apply a torque to it, it will twist. So you have uh, your beginning point, your end point there. Oh, I wiped off the shit off the board. But anyway, uh, you get a twist, you get a, a torsional, this is the torque. Um, displacing the atoms in the lattice and all that kind of rubbish. So basically what happens is, is they're using, these torque sticks are using a unique property of torque wrench, uh, of impact guns. You see, when you apply a torque with a breaker bar, you are applying a constant force, well as long as you apply that force, but you are applying a constant force to that breaker bar because you have a lever, you are applying a torque. So it's a constant torque that you are applying. Impact guns don't do that impact guns and we'll do a video about impact guns and all the rest of it but impact guns basically use momentum so they wing around a weight and a force is mass times acceleration so when you stop that mass then there is all your your energy is transferred and because we're winging it around you then basically can create peak torque that doesn't make sense right then so when you have a breaker bar or a torque wrench We've got time across the bottom, let's fuck my pen, and then you've got torque up this side. And basically, you begin to tighten, 
So your torque shoots up and then as you undo something, you are basically applying a constant torque and then it starts to slip and it starts to fall off. Great. But you can apply a constant torque um, if you're just turning something. So if you have a wheel, um, you know, like a, on a road or something like that or whatever, when you twist and you're turning something, just say you've got a big roller or whatever, you're applying a constant torque. That's not how impact guns work. Because let's just say the maximum torque that you can apply with your breaker bar is 280 newton meters. Right? That's your maximum torque that you can apply. What impact guns do, and this is why even these things, you know, this thing's rated, rated <laughs> to 400, they reckon. And there's a, a an impact gun on. Um, uh, on Amazon, a DeWalt one that they reckon that they can get 1,600 uh, cracking torque or breaking torque. Basically what happens is, is you're, in a sense, instead of getting that motor to be fully under load and just constantly turn, you're allowing the motor, in a sense, to freewheel, gather up some speed, and then the hammer hits the anvil and you get a peak torque. So what will happen is, is your torque will go up and then it will drop instantly off, like this. But this peak torque here is a lot higher. And we'll go on about fasteners and all the rest of it and how, why you have to have so much torque to break fasteners and what that torque may be and all the rest of it. But you can see there's this instant peak torque and that's it. But that's all you need to do and it repeats this. So it's bang, 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 bang. Just like in a sense, um, you get a lock ring and getting a punch and a hammer. Instead of applying a torque, you're applying just a force at once. You're going whack. And the momentum, the energy that you've put into that hammer, that potential now kinetic energy that you've put into that hammer blow, when it stops dead, that energy is going to transfer all the way through. And because it's a force at a distance from a centre, you get a torque. And it's quite a high torque. Now, you've got to remember, when you whack it, it doesn't just spin the whole thing off. No, it doesn't do that. It just whacks it and it moves it a bit, but at least it cracks it or tightens it. depends which what you're doing. So what they're using with a torque stick is they're using the torque stick's ability... Um, to deflect. So what happens is, is when you're at low torque applications, so let's just say that this is 90 newton meters. So you tighten and it requires 30 newton meters and the whole thing, yeah, there is a bit of torsion there, there is a bit of twist, but it tightens. And then you do it again, you know, you, this is your impact gun, it hits again and it's now 90, hits again, and then it gets to what this, basically this stick is rated to, which is 90, I shouldn't have gone that far, but 90. Um, so when it gets to 90 what happens is, is when it hammers again is that this is so thin that it will twist and it'll basically this entire stick will just deform so it's kind of like um, it's kind of like doing it with your fingers in a sense where you tighten you tighten you tighten and then you get to that bit where you physically can't tighten anymore that's all to do with grip and slippage but in a sense if you think about it back to this what happens is is I'm grabbing this loosely and then you twist and it twists and it gets this gets tighter and tighter until this happens. So this is what's happening now with your torque stick. Every time it goes hammer, 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 can you see that hammer, 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 and this is not exceeding that rated torque. So how do they specify what that is? There's a lot of ways you can calculate it with torsional um, formulas and stuff. But basically what happens, you can see it is the thicker the stick, the more torque it will transfer until it then starts to deform and twist. And that's basically what, that's all you do. The reason why these t sticks won't work with just manual torque and they have to be with impact guns is because it's this instant knock. So it knocks it, it twists it, back to this. It twists it, twists it, twists it, twists it, twists it until this resistance here, you're fitting is so much that it just twists. If you were to do constant torque, it would twist and twist and twist until it applies more and more torque, until you become to the yield, until this actual bar here yields. So we'll actually do that. We're gonna do some experiments where we use a torque test and we can actually measure, do these actually spec out what they say they do repeatedly? And then not only that is what we'll do is we'll <coughs> attach it to a, um, I need to put some bearings and actually set this up but uh, just to stop the bending moment so much because it's so long. But we'll put a, an actual breaker bar on it and we'll see how much we have to twist this and how much torque it requires until this thing actually shears. Um, 
or twists off basically, they'll probably neck and then shear off just a bit like that tube did. Um, but that's how torque sticks work. Now, how accurate are they? Oh, it depends how many cycles that these have been um, designed, or it's the quality of the steel, this is what it always comes down to. The better quality of the steel, uh, you know, these over time, depending on the loading of what they're rated for, um, it depends on their fatigue cycles basically. How many cycles can you do until this starts to fatigue and starts to break? And how close is this to the fatigue limit? Now I'll do fatigue limits and all the rest of it. Um, but we'll be able to measure it first and then we can talk about it once we look at the results. Um, but yeah, it just depends how good quality this steel is. And just basically how good their calculations are. But we'll be able to actually measure it. Because like I say, these guys, they tighten them. Uh, using this and then they use a torque wrench to undo it or something like that and nah, depends how good your torque wrench is there's also the moments bending moments and all sorts involved the slippage blah 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 there's all these things where with this we'll actually be able to directly measure the torque at the actual um oh, at the actual so uh, at the end at the socket so here's a 36 mil socket My god, that's tight. So we'll be able to stick that 36mm bad boy on there, put this in, put this on our brick tool measure, uh, torque measurer, and we'll be able to basically whack this um, and just and see what happens, you know what I mean? See um, what torque, the maximum torque, because we can do peak torque on that or we can do track. But we can put peak torque on that and actually measure what it actually shits out. Um, but that's how torque sticks work. I've never come across them. They're mainly used for guys um, because rattle guns will do unless you've got a very very sexy one generally rattle guns like this they have three speed settings or any other kind of rattle gun generally and you just keep on going until it talks on which you know can be dangerous because you can be over talking stuff where with these torque sticks in a sense that stops that from happening hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit